In this morning's Broadway and Beyond, we spotlight one of the stars of the hit musical, Merrily We Roll Along. It's the Stephen Sondheim revival starring Daniel Radcliffe, Jonathan Groff, Lindsay Mendez, and Crystal Joy Brown, who portrays Gussie Carnegie. Crystal joins us now. She has been in six Broadway shows, including Hamilton and Motown the Musical, playing Diana Ross, as well as movies and television. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I really loved the show. And when you, you know, your character is so over the top and so kind of funny. I just, <laughs> when I saw Gussie, I thought, this must be such a fun role to play. Gussie is a fun role to play, absolutely, but she is extremely complicated. Yes, I mean, she is. She has <laughs> layers upon layers upon layers and a lot of dimensions. And I think a lot of the, the interesting thing about Just someone who presents like a very big personality mm -hmm. is that at the center of them, they're probably pretty gooey. They're probably pretty, um, when you're projecting a lot of bigness, like you might be hiding a lot of pain. That's true. Um, and so I think that that's kind of the juxtaposition of Gussie yeah. and the complications of playing her. Uh, it, she can easily be a diva and mm -hmm. larger than life, but the truth is she wants love, she wants acceptance, she wants to survive in mm -hmm. New York City as an artist. And so uh, it is fun to play her. I do love wearing sparkles and feathers. <laughs> like, do not get it twisted. That's one of my favorite things to do. But also, um, I love her depth yeah. in the moments where I get to show her vulnerability. Now tell us more about the story of merrily we roll along. So the story really centers around um, a group of friends, these three friends who've kind of come up together in New York City, and um, I hope this is not too much of a spoiler, but the show goes backwards in time. And, uh, no, okay. it is. It's good. <laughs> I think it's actually a good thing to know for most people. <laughs> um, and it's kind of over the course of 20 years and the choices that these friends have made that has uh, moved their friendships away from each other, which is kind of what happens in real life. You know, we have our college friends mm -hmm. and they kind of, some people stay with us forever and some people you kind of lose touch with. And it's about people making the choices for like do, success, love, how how are we going to um, live our lives together? And, and also like commercialism versus pure art mm -hmm. um, and like selling out and not selling out and what does that mean? Uh, it, it's, it brings up a lot of questions. Um, about the choices that we make, and, and it brings up a lot of reflection. So that's kind of what the story is is based around. Um, but I also think it's really a love letter for artists in New York City. I thought it was just, it was so beautiful. The music is fantastic. Yeah. And I, I like the clothes you get to wear. You get oh, to wear some fancy too. clothes. My clothes and wigs <laughs> just kill it, yes. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate My it. absolute pleasure. I thank can't you. wait to see the other shows you do. Yes. <laughs> and you can see Merrily We Roll Along at the Hudson Theater through July 7th. We'll be right back.